Okay. Death Note again. <laughs> We're back at Death Note, baby. Yeah. Death Note, this would be episode seven. I'm eating dinner. <laughs> yeah, you're eating dinner. So you can all, it's like a mukbang with me. Yeah. But we're also watching Death Note. Yeah. <laughs> this is about where I think I stopped the first time I watched. So um, after this episode, I don't think I'll know anything at all. Good. Because it just gets even stupider after this one. Okay. Well, we might as well jump into it. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's what I imagine people that film mukbangs do. You know, oh, every time oh, they take oh. a bite of food, they go, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Okay. I bet I could sing like this. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to, no. but I bet I could. You gotta learn the words first. <laughs> I never pay attention to these openings as much as I should. I like anime openings. Most of them are pretty good. Um, some of my favorite ones that everybody should go check out. The first one for Banana Fish. <laughs> Not the second one. Um, the second one for Banana Fish. <laughs> get away from me. Get away from, away from the dark out of here. I love that song. That fucking rock. It was like a Sonic Adventure 2 track. Overcast. Oh, and it's overcast. Wow, symbolism or something. <laughs> uh, do you remember? I don't remember what was happening. <laughs> I don't remember what was going on here. <laughs> no. She has more or less sleuthed out that whoever her husband was following on the date that he was following Light was Kira. So he's trying to stop her from telling anybody. He needs to kill her before she can get a hold of any of the cops. Right. Damn, he's been mewing. Look at his jawline. Oh my God, it's so pointy. Yowie jawline. That, that's so, like, I just, I carry around a piece of paper in my pocket so I can interview people when I come across them. <laughs> he does look like the kind of person that would do that, though, to be fair. He does. <laughs> He's wearing, like, a khaki jacket. <laughs> I like how she was like, I need to talk to a cop. And he was like, I'm a cop. <laughs> talk to me. And she was like, oh, yeah, that seems reasonable. Oh, yeah, they all they all actually met him in person. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, nobody likes him. <laughs> I can't imagine sitting like that because all the blood flow would just be cut off from your toes. Back in my uh, my more frequent conventioning days, I remember there was an L somewhere in this area that would be at all the same conventions as me. Mm. And he used to just perch outside the hotel and like watch people walk in. <laughs> Why? Like a bird. Why would you do that? He'd be there for like six hours at a time. <laughs> Shout out to that guy. Yeah, honestly, legend. <laughs> My man didn't even talk. <laughs> now that you mention it, I do feel honored. <laughs> the fuck? The fuck was that? <laughs> Wait, does he have a butler? Is that a butler? Uh, sort of, yeah. But you knew all along. He could see her real name with his eyes. That's why he wouldn't stop laughing. Wow, Light, you're a genius. <laughs> He's been, like, working out like she has a fake name that she told me <laughs> for, like, ten minutes. <laughs> It took him so long. He's so far behind her. Yeah, wait, why are you walking like that? <laughs> why are you talking like this far away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I better get back to the station. Someone from the task force will be there. What? <laughs> it's like that fucking Invader Zim sequence where they're yelling what? across the street. Zim! What? You won't get away with it! Nice of you. This phone rings. It's all over for me. What am I gonna do? What? Wait, Put your what? Put phone on silent. He told her if his dad called him back, she could talk to his dad, who was a cop. Oh, yeah. Now he's worried that his dad will call. Oh, problem solved. He turned it on silent. Was that so hard? <laughs> Did that really need to be a moment of tension? No. She's got to have a driver's license or some kind of personal identification on her somewhere. She's a woman after all. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Only wait, hold on. Only wait, wait, wait. carry IDs. <laughs> Backtrack for a second. CG legs. Oh so much <laughs> we got three D CG perspective going here. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I was still on only women carry their driver's license, but it's already looking ahead with more shit. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> fellas, is it gay to carry your driver's license on you? <laughs> what is wrong with this man? What are you trying to do? Drive to see a man? <laughs> Shift stick <laughs> looks like a dick. Gay. A little bit sus. <laughs> She's like, why the fuck are you following me? Wait, why does he I need to also kill be her again? I was following me. <laughs> why does he need to kill her? Because she'll she'll be able to figure out it was him. Why? Because she knows what date her husband met Kira, and the police will know what who he was following at the time. 
how do they not already? She she knows that he was following Kira. Yes. And the police know that. Why do the police know that he was following Light? Because the police told him to follow Light. Why did his dad tell him to follow Light? No, L told. Remember, L told all those FBI agents to tail a bunch of relatives of the police people. Oh, right. Okay. So it's not the police that know. It's. It's L that it's knows. It's L. Yeah. Okay, okay. That makes more sense. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, uh, Death Note too, too, too much for me. Mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, fucking Alfred's trying to explain caller ID. <laughs> it is 2007 or whatever the fuck. <laughs> He's so sus. Look at him. <laughs> frog chin. He got so upset. Oh my God. Look, he's so froggy. <laughs> he's so upset that he sucked his chin way back in. <laughs> when I was a kid, I always felt really gypped by this show because I wanted to see you like get caught and like lose his shit in a courtroom. Yeah. Like I just thought it would have been really funny. Like when I was a kid, I was like, I want to see him just sob on the stand. <laughs> Law and order style. <laughs> yeah. It's all I want. Can we get a uh, Death Note Law and Order AU? Please, someone write <laughs> this fanfic for me. I'm, I've been obsessed with this idea since I was like 12. <laughs> Do you know how much Death Note fanfiction I read as a child? Oh, probably a lot. So the FBI agent died via heart attack, right? Yeah. I think you should have had him get hit by a train. I think that would have been funnier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I would determine how to kill people if I were Yeah, right. how funny it would be. Yeah, I, he is only killing them by heart attack. I think he should have gotten more creative. But he didn't want them to be able to figure out which one was the agent that had followed Kira, so he killed them all the same way. Yeah, but I mean, like, all his previous He could have had all of them be hit by a train. Yeah, like, that's... You, you could have just done all of them by train. I think Kira should have killed everyone by train. All those guys in prison. Like, yeah, oh. oh my god. <laughs> Everybody. That would have been funny. So would he have had to have been, like, since it has to be, like, in the realm of possibility for, like, things that the people can do, mm -hmm. would he have had to have been, like... They all go on a field trip to, like, a train yard. <laughs> that would have been fucking awesome. <laughs> I feel like that may have worked. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to, like, reference my fucking death note, and I have no clue where that is, but yeah. I don't think there's a rule that prevents that from being the case. Hell yeah. I would have killed everyone by train then. If I could figure out more and more convoluted situations to get the person to, like, a train station. <laughs> <laughs> Someone write that fanfic. Yeah. Death Note, I remember having like a My Immortal-esque fanfiction. We're like barely talking about this episode. I'm just talking about Death Note fandom. But I remember having like a really garbage fanfiction about this person's OC named Dark Yagami. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> like I kind of remember this. Hold on. <laughs> Light and Dark, The Adventures of Dark Yagami. <laughs> It's on fanfiction.net. Check it out. <laughs> oh, fanfic.net? Hell yeah. What's that face about? Oh my god, look at his okay. face. <laughs> <laughs> you're not on the you're not on the task force. Nobody told her he was. Oh, because he's trying to get her to tell him her name. Light, we have something to tell you, said his dad while playing with his mustache. This is your twin brother, Dark Yagami. <laughs> Oh, God. Why is he being introduced to his twin brother? Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is like a lot of people's favorite part of the whole show. And I'm, I'm talking about the adventures of Dark <laughs> It is kind <laughs> of getting a little bit tense because some dude is walking over to towards them. Yeah. The shaky cam. Ryuk, what the fuck? <laughs> he's, he's laughing so hard. He's shaking the whole world. <laughs> Oh my god, his face! What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. He literally pogged. He like, did. <laughs> the single snowflake. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I needed a reason for him not to stop and talk to White. It started snowing and he pulled out an umbrella. What? 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 Why would she... Umbrellas don't... <laughs> she have like a seizure or something? My girl looking dead as shit. No, I think he wrote that she commits suicide. So yeah, if you can write that someone commits suicide, you could definitely say they go to a train yard and get hit by a train. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, if you can control them to the extent that they could do something like this, like of their own volition. Yeah. Like you could definitely write, he goes to a train yard. <laughs> Even if they're a prisoner, you just have to put them in the right situation. <laughs> Everyone's like, why do these people keep going to train yards? <laughs> it's, it's a disease. We can't fucking stop them. <laughs> people want to go to the train yards. 